Bengaluru is proud to host the next call Asia Congress in June 2019. It was not an easy battle. It was a hard fought battle between uh, two destinations, two clubs and Bengaluru emerged a strong winner. Today we get to speak to two of the pillars behind the Congress who are moving mountains to make this a big success. So welcome Mr. Matthew. Welcome Mr. Gupta. So well, uh, are you guys excited about uh, this call Congress coming into Bengaluru? Very excited. Uh -huh. Because this is what we've been waiting for all these years and we've been planning for it. 2019 is not too far away. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and we, all of us have participated in the previous congresses. So we want to raise the bar and make sure that it is a, an event which will be remembered for a long time. Interesting. What's your take on the Asia Congress? Well, uh, this is the second Asia Congress in India. The uh -huh. first one was in Delhi. Okay. That was quite some time back. Uh -huh. And uh, I would say this would be the best Asia Congress what people would have enjoyed, experienced till date. Wow. Well, so, I think there's a, there's a little bit of uh, clarity required on SCOL. Not many people know SCOL uh, apart from the industry stalwarts, right? So, why don't you all just give a brief introduction about SCOL and the SCOL Bengaluru. SCOL International is a body which promotes tourism. Mm -hmm. The basic fundamental being business among friends. So, this is a great opportunity where you network. Mm -hmm. It is in 80 countries and there are about uh, how many members? 14,000 14, members That's right. currently with wow. the club. Uh -huh. And uh, it is growing. Now, this is one body which is a non profitable body. Okay. And Bangalore has been a SCOL member for the last 30 years. Uh, 20, uh, yeah, around 30 years. Sir. Uh, That's more quite than a legacy. More than that. 1972 uh -huh. was the time when it was formed. Wow. How has been your individual journey with SCOL Bangalore? Well, I I start I became a SCOL member in Sri Lanka. Wow, okay. And I was in Sri Lanka when I was introduced to SCOL. And I found it very uh, interesting. Uh -huh. Because for once I was not only meeting people from the hotels, which I normally do, but I was also meeting people from different industries, different walks of life who are related to industry tourism. So the perspective, the networking improved and it made business sense to be associated with it. And I realized that SCOL is doing a lot of things which not many people know about. Mm -hmm. So I thought this is also a chance to market SCOL to the others, like-minded people. So that's the reason why when I came to Bangalore two years back, mm -hmm. I looked out for SCOL and sure enough, there was a club which was thriving here. and I joined and transferred my membership to Bangalore. I joined in 2002 when Mr. Imtiaz was the president in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. And the best part was that the next year, 2003, there was a World Congress in Chennai. Mm -hmm. So we got a chance, I mean, I got a chance where he really said, no, you get yourself involved in it. So I have experience of doing a Congress with the Chennai people also. And uh, of course, yes, uh, I have been in school committee uh, during our current president's time, national president, then with uh, Sushil, then with uh, Mr. Bharti, and now with Mr. Manoj Bharti. I am the longest secretary of the club. So yes. you, are, you are a constant with ba Skol Bangalore? <laughs> constant with Skol Bangalore. <laughs> Interesting. So, uh, as a president of uh, Skol Bangalore and, uh, and chairman of the organizing committee for Skol Asia, what's your vision for the event? You know, uh, it's called Asia Congress, which happened once uh, every year, mm -hmm. is a unique platform because it, it shows the abundance of tourism within the region. And uh, we felt that while Incredible India campaign is known to everybody, Karnataka as a destination was not promoted to the fullest extent. So mm -hmm. we felt that here is a great opportunity for people of the region to know about it. How we increase the scope of this Congress is that uh, while we are looking at about 150 delegates from the region, we are also looking at other international SCOL members from countries which are connected to India. So we are going to invite them also to be part of this conference so that each of them understand 
the importance of the region and uh, so there is something in it for everyone mm. we are not forgetting the domestic tourists the domestic delegates who come for it we are making sure that there are fam trips not only for the members and also some engagement with the spouses so this is going to be a unique three day affair where we feel that uh, all the people who come for it will go back not only with memories they start doing business with karnataka wow interesting so the government of karnataka is behind uh, uh, this congress supporting heavily and up to what is the government take on this in fact it was very very nice of the government of karnataka the karnataka tourism to co partner with us even mm -hmm. when we went to macau recently for the asia congress last asia congress mm -hmm. they were co partners and we hosted a lunch there in macau the karnataka government has given all the supports uh, even when we were in macau by way of audio visuals mm -hmm. funding and they are with us at every step to ensure that this event is a major tourism event in future also so it's quite promising every every uh, travel trade event i've seen uh, there there are some being supported by uh, the government bodies and tourism organizations or ngos but uh, skull being supported by karnataka tourism is like fantastic i mean it sits in your vision as well i think yes uh, from a from a delegate's perspective this question is to you mr gupta uh, what can a delegate expect when he comes down to bangalore so i'll tell you i was in bahrain mm -hmm. and we had people coming in it seemed that asia congress generally people feel it's only for the asians mm -hmm. asian countries of course not that we had people coming all the way from argentina to bahrain there were people coming all the way from spain to bahrain from canada to bahrain you know when i spoke to them that when they saw that bid was won by bangalore So four of them came to me and they said one very simple. India is very colorful, but most of them have not seen the southern part of the country, mm -hmm. which is where we are having our Asia Congress now, Bangalore. And uh, we already have received uh, mails from two three people, those who attend the Asia Congress regularly, and which Mr. Matthew will also say, uh, they have already confirmed to us uh, two things which are new in this Congress. The first day is dedicated to Young Scholar, which has never been done. There is going to be a seminar on Young Scholar. Mm -hmm. This is the first time happening in Asia Congress. Uh, one is that. The other is, uh, I should say, uh, we are also having an exhibition, which generally does not happen in a Congress, in Asia Congress, where we want to showcase Karnataka to them, more of Karnataka, mm -hmm. and then India, and Southern India being a part of it. So that's the whole thing. it will be a full 3 day program which uh, is 27th it starts from the afternoon 27th evening we will have the uh, dinner or the opening dinner what you call it is and then deliberations uh, your talks will happen on 28th and 29th but yet it will be 29th evening is the gala day that is gala what we call it as the president's dinner is on 29th Okay, and how about fan trips? Yes, there are fan trips. Uh, our partners, co-partners, mm -hmm. Cox and Kings, they are doing the fan trips. Uh, pre and post. Ha, uh, pre and post within Karnataka and as well as in India. So anything uh, we would we would like them to showcase more of Karnataka because being happening in Bangalore, I would like to show them we have three heritage sites in Karnataka. So we definitely would like to show it to them. And yes. The highest number of tigers also belong to Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Let's show. Sure. Uh, Mr. Gupta was telling me about uh, one hashtag that that is being put forward, right? Be Bengaluru. Can you talk a little bit about that? You know, it's a unique city where all the cultures, all the states have come together, mm -hmm. living harmoniously, and you get a glimpse of almost the whole of India from this city. So, okay. if you are Coming to India for a very short while, and you still want to have a glimpse of India, be Bangalore and have the glimpse of India. That's the objective. So when we have delegates coming from all over the world, and even delegates our own delegates from different parts of the country, we want to showcase first the culture, cuisine, art of Karnataka, then the South, and then India. Mm -hmm. And tech city. Bangalore is unique in many ways that technology is 
one thing which can be showcased, how it can be used to make sure that communication and message goes through at the shortest possible time to all our delegates in the most attractive manner. That's one part of it. The second part of it is that we Bangalore is the content of the conference. We are focusing a lot on the content of the conference so that there is meaningful interaction and networking amongst delegates in these three days. What is your message to the delegates coming down to the Congress? Asia Congress 2019 mm -hmm. is going to be one hell of a memorable experience. Don't miss it. We intend to ensure that once you land in Bangalore, till the time you leave Bangalore, uh -huh. is going to be fun, frolic, all along, with lots of content to take back. Business among friends is going to have a new meaning once this conference is over. So, Mr. Matthew, thank you for taking time out and joining us. It's Mr. Gupta, thank, thank you. you very much. Wishing you both a great success thank in you. the uh, Scholarship Congress and hope to see you guys there soon. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank mm -hmm. you.